that seems hard to believe, a little bit surreal in fact, that we are actually here. And this has been a journey of 10 years. We did a lot of advocating at Queen's Park. We had asked for three sites. So when we were approved for three sites and for our wonderful 26 bed respite facilities, it was a very poignant moment. In May 2011, to much fanfare, we were announced as the biggest redevelopment project in the history of Ministry of Children and Youth Services. Next came the fun of finding and buying our new sites. And in 2015, we broke ground on all three sites. It's real, finally. We will open new doors to empower the children we serve to pursue their dreams for the next 40 years and beyond. These three new buildings exemplify everything that Aaron Oak Kids stands for. They are going to set an example for how children with disabilities will be treated. This is an idea that's taken from a concept shown on a set of drawings that resulted in the fabulous buildings that we have now. We purposely designed all three buildings to be very similar. As the buildings were being designed and built, we were also redesigning and reorganizing ourselves so that once we both came together and we actually moved in, our staff would be comfortable, they'd be prepared and trained and ready to hit the ground running and start delivering services to clients and families. These buildings are going to be bigger than anything we're used to. These buildings are going to have technology that we don't have right now. These buildings are going to bring teams together that have never been brought together before. So all of that required us to really take a high-level view of how we organized ourselves and how we worked together. Welcome you all to our first speech meeting on site. No more community centers, gyms, libraries. I hope everyone's been settling into your new sites, your new desks, exploring the toys. The most meaningful moment of this project was driving up to the new sites on the first day of service delivery to clients and families, seeing our beautiful buildings, seeing the Aeronaut kids flag waving, and welcoming our little clients and their families. Being there as those very first clients walked through the door, being able to watch them as they interacted with the space. Ezra walks in and he's all over the map, checking out all the cool doors and hallways. He sees this fireplace, which is like the coolest thing to him. These little details that were incorporated into the building and into the design instantly became part of the experience of Aaron Oak Kids. The truth windows, there were three children in a row with their faces just glued to the window watching the elevator gears. He runs through the doors. I can't keep up with him in the parking lot. It's bigger and it's better. It is so open, it is so bright. This building is full of hope. All the windows and the light and the colors just speak to that. Aaron Oak Kids is finally in buildings that represent the amazing work that gets done here at Aaron Oak Kids. These buildings are a game changer. There's greater opportunity for interprofessional when we all get to work alongside of each other. I can just hop over to somebody's desk and quickly get some professional development in a short period of time. So there's more opportunities for collaboration. It's important for parents to be able to come to a single site for all the services that they need for their children. It has all the facilities that the kids need, the gyms, the washrooms. There are things that I can do here that I could never do at my site before. Our ADL kitchen, our playgrounds, our gym. There's just so many more services that we can do now that we couldn't do before. They've made the site fun. So it's not just a place to come for therapy, but it's a fun place that family members want to go to and spend time. We have all the toys and tools that we need in these bright, beautiful spaces. Kids are really happy to come back again and again. I like it because it's 
fun and it's where I get to see my friends I don't get to see every single day. It's the biggest respite facility in the province and it's the only respite facility that will allow us to serve children who are otherwise hard to serve and whose families never get a break. So children who are medically complex and children who are behaviorally complex. It's kind of like where I grew up basically, like home to me. Every kid wants to go to school because they feel like I don't know what I would have done without Aeronaut Kids. The buildings and things are shiny for a second, but a relationship is always shiny. It's the people. The biggest impact Aeronaut Kids is having on our lives, Ezra's lives, is giving us the tools to better his life. He was never supposed to have function below the waist. He was never supposed to stand. He was never supposed to crawl. He was never supposed to ride a bike. We bring about change here. We bring about hope here. There are things that our clients do here that they've never done for their families before. I've heard first words. I've been there for first steps. And those type of miracles get to happen here and that is absolutely amazing. These buildings could not have come to fruition without the assistance of many. To the Government of Ontario, our funding Ministry of Children and Youth Services, our local MPPs and generous donors, thank you so very much. These new facilities will stand for decades as a legacy to your vision and your support.